Thanks. A Phoenix man is accused of stealing security equipment from the Maricopa County Elections Department. The theft was discovered during a routine inventory Friday morning. 12 News journalist William Pitts is here now with more on what he's found out about the suspect's past and what the county now has to do to fix the security breach. Will? Yeah, the county's going to have to pay a lot of money to resecure everything. And tonight we're learning this is not Walter Ringfield's first arrest for theft. Walter Ringfield Jr. was only a temporary worker, but at a very secure and high profile place. The Maricopa County Elections Center, where the votes are counted. It's a highly secure building. After all, it's been the site of protests for the last two elections. So when security cameras allegedly caught Ringfield slipping a set of keys in his pockets, county officials noticed. According to court documents, Ringfield denied taking a set of keys with a security fob on them. That security fob, according to authorities, is used with secure tablets that are used in elections. The next day, deputies searched Ringfield's house and found the keys and the fob on top of a dresser. Court documents show Ringfield said he took the keys, but only for 20 minutes because he wanted to clean up the tabulation center. He told deputies his job was temporary and he was trying to make it permanent. There are cameras every place in that facility. Former Maricopa County recorder Helen Purcell says she believes the tablets are used to check voters in and the theft was a big security breach. Anytime you have something that leaves the building, it's a breach. But the the thing that it that there is in place is that it was detected and it was challenged and the person was picked up. They now have it back in their possession. Walter Alfonso Jamel Ringfield. Ringfield went before a judge who held him without bond because there's another active case against him. According to court documents, Ringfield was arrested in September of 2023, charged with stealing $1,800 from a Fry's grocery store where he worked. That case was put on hold at the end of the year, and Ringfield was allowed to enter a felony diversion program, basically counseling in exchange for not prosecuting. The main condition is to not commit any more crimes while you're doing it. Uh, you said that was on a felony case already, but that was already completed. So you do have an open case. Um, it is still currently pending according to the docket here. You were in what looks like diversion, uh, but they resumed prosecution, looks like back in November. The Maricopa County Elections Department said Ringfield had been fired, but a spokesperson did not respond to whether being in a felony diversion program would have disqualified Ringfield from working there. And meanwhile, because those keys and the security fob left the secure building, that's kind of like losing your credit card. You have to change everything. Court documents show the county will have to reprogram those tablets and the fobs that go with them, and that could cost the county more than $19,000. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, Will, thank you.